Anthony, how are you? What's good. up, Dennis? Good, good to see, see you. you, man. Welcome to Aston Martin Residences. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. I like the way you look. Another yeah. pleasure, likewise. The pleasure is mine. So, uh, let's talk about project. Give us some information, who's the developer, when did you guys start sales? I think like a few years ago, right? But anyway, you take it over and give me some details. So first and foremost, this is the first and only Aston Martin residences mm -hmm. in the world. I feel very privileged as someone that's a native to the city, that from all the amazing cities in the world, they choose the city of Miami. And more importantly, they choose downtown Miami as uh, to have our building. We launched sales, I want to say July of 2017. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I want to take off my hat to you. You helped us from the very beginning. <laughs> I was one of the first ones. <laughs> and you believed in the vision. You brought us some amazing buyers. Um, Developer-wise, it's the amazing Koto family working mm -hmm. under the G&G &G name. The Koto family, think of them as the owners of the equivalent to like a Whole Foods, big mm -hmm. supermarket chains. Like mm -hmm. a lot of us, they migrated to the city and they felt that they wanted to leave their mark. Mm -hmm. They purchased a lot, I want to say, in 2014. And I very proudly say that How much they paid? They like paid 125 20. million mm -hmm. for 1.3 acres. I remember when we saw the article that it came out that it just broke all records. Uh -huh. And we said, who in the world would spend <laughs> so much money in a lot? They beat out a lot of the bigger names, which uh -huh. were I mean, nameless. And that's where they started. They ended up meeting someone at Aston, and Aston chose them, and they chose Aston and pretty much the rest is history. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so let's go. Also, I want to mention about the developers. We just discussed, we had a minute before starting shooting with Anthony, that when developer is not like huge here in the States, like in Miami or other cities, it's really good uh, quality of the product because they want to make sure that their name is going to be uh, known, I would say, for a good project, not for something bad. Uh, so let's go some details, like how many stories here, to, to, prices to back and up, all of to that. To back up your statement, sure. um, I think that the developers, like a lot of us, have bought properties in other buildings. Yeah. And not to say that it wasn't good, they wanted to do something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I always say that people always remember your first and mm -hmm. they remember your last. Mm -hmm. So when you make your first move, you have to make it the best. Yeah. So I agree that attention to detail, the financial motors behind the building is magnificent, mm -hmm. the involvement of the brand. Um, I'm a little bit sad to a point that we're getting close to the end, but mm -hmm. it's been it's been an amazing ride so far. Yeah. How many years? It was like almost five it's, years already. It's been six years. It's been six wow. years since beginning, beginning, you're looking at almost seven years. Wow. So I feel like I almost have a, a master's degree at Aston <laughs> Martin, right? Yeah. And so, you didn't join that view. No, it's, it's, it's been a pleasure. So to talk a little bit about the building, mm -hmm. it's 66 stories. It's 391 residences. We're sitting in the most important part of our city. Mm -hmm. We're sitting in the epicenter of Maine and Maine where the river meets the bay. Mm -hmm. We're sitting on the last waterfront property. We're sitting on 500 linear feet of water. Mm -hmm. And I tell a lot of our buyers, you know, as we've lived, both of us have been through many cycles in the business, you always want to be in the water because mm -hmm. the water always has a premium. Yeah, I, I want to say, historically, you're looking at additional, maybe almost 30% in mm -hmm. value. Mm -hmm. So the marina, I say it's our insurance policy. It'll be a private marina for our residents. Mm -hmm. There's an area for loading and unloading. As a, as a resident to the building, you will be able to, to lease it out short term. So the beach service was very important. Mm -hmm. We wanted our buyers to have a private beach yep. experience. We chose the very desirable, say, the Ritz-Carlton Key Biscayne. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a 40-foot yacht that will take you to and from mm -hmm. the, the beach club. There's also a house car. You can jog. You can bike. However you want to do it. Mm -hmm. Once you get there, you're treated as an equal guest. So you have their private beach. Personally, for years, I would always take my mom to the brunch, which was very famous. Mm -hmm. You can do their brunch. And it's a little bit more laid back. I haven't been there on the brunch. It's nice. Oh, interesting. To me, as an old Miami, yeah. it's a very different Miami now. It's a very nice place to go because uh -huh. it's a, it feels kind of like the Hamptons. Uh -huh, okay. It slows down a little bit, a little bit more family friendly, mm -hmm. not as, I would say, touristy as okay. South Beach. Yeah, that's but again, what I want. Yeah. The beautiful thing, we're right in the middle. Mm -hmm. You're within miles of everything that you want to be at. Also, really, really good point that you guys have a beach club because there is, we are in a financial district. We're Correct. in a downtown and we have that option to go to the beach when you live here. Correct. Do you know any other buildings? I, I do mean, not. I, I can't do think you? off the top of my head any other building I, I that would offer that. I don't know any that. other buildings here that do provide beach service. They do not. And, and again, 
going back to that point, it's a very mm. good point you're making. I think in the last 20 years, when I joined the company back in 05, mm -hmm. the idea was to really capitalize on this being the financial mm -hmm. district. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the area, I want to say, Cervera, we sold a building called the Epic. Mm -hmm. That was kind of the genesis. Yeah. We bought so right here. a little mm -hmm. restaurant, which I'm sure you're familiar, yeah. called Zuma. Uh -huh. And that set the trend. So food-wise, work-wise, we've created a community. Mm -hmm. But we still want to incorporate that element of the beach, which is pretty much part of our identity as a mm -hmm. city. So very proud of our building. The partners chose Luis Huerta as the architect, mm -hmm. renowned in, this, in, the, in pretty much in our city. And they wanted to create an experience with Aston because mm -hmm. when you have an experience, you don't remember the details, but you remember how you feel. And when our architect looked at our waterfront said, you know what, I want you to feel like you're on a sailboat. Mm -hmm. And from that, you get our magnificent design of our building. They wrapped up the entire building in one solid piece of curvilinear glass and steel. Ground level, you're gonna have our main entrance, like I mentioned, you have 66 stories. Mm -hmm. The building is divided into two towers, essentially. You're gonna have the east tower. Like inside, you mean? Like inside. Uh -huh. So in here, you're gonna have the east tower. And then from here back, you have our west. The east tower is gonna be pretty much defined by four models that sit side by side. Models one, two, three, and four. And the really nice things about them, Dennis, is that they flow from the city side all the way to the water. Mm -hmm. They're pretty much what we call flow throughs. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be my three bedrooms to my five bedrooms, and they're gonna be between 2,400 to 4,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. Private elevators, private service. So it gives you truly a very intimate and private experience. The West Tower is gonna to be defined by five models per floor. Mm -hmm. They're all gonna be semi-private elevators, and those are gonna be my smaller residences. And why does this number work perfectly? Even though we are a super luxury building, mm -hmm. we wanted to have a very comfortable maintenance fee. And you're mm -hmm. a little bit only, a little bit over a dollar square foot, which yeah. I think is very reasonable. It's very common. Yep. View-wise, if you look behind me, you're gonna notice that the building is sitting at a southeast angle. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna get really open panoramic views. You're gonna see all the way mm -hmm. from the open bay, even sunny isles on a clear day on a higher level, all the way down to pretty much uh, Coconut Grove. Mm -hmm. Amenity-wise, and again, we both do a lot of business in, in this thing called real estate, and it always shocked me that our partners sacrificed the best part of the mm -hmm. building. They sacrificed four floors from 52 to 55 to give you first-class mm -hmm. amenities. And again, usually when you sell a pre-construction project, yeah. you always sell the highest floors first. Instead here, we have 15,000 square feet of wellness spa, barbershop, beauty salon, theaters, there's even a curated art gallery that's gonna have art that changes on a mm -hmm. month to month approved by Aston Martin. And my favorite part will be your ballroom, sky mm -hmm. bar and lounge, and then of course our main swimming pool. Our main swimming pool is on the 55th floor. Mm -hmm. It's done with that infinity edge that it looks like it's cascading into the river. And I can't wait once you finish. <laughs> so I have a special surprise for you, which will be part two of your video. Uh -huh. um, we'll give you a private tour. I will tell you, I was up on the 55th floor uh -huh. and I've been selling the neighborhood for what, 17 years now. You can actually see Hard Rock Casino from, from our here. From here, wow. I've Hopefully seen, the weather is clear and- It will, well, I'll, oh, say, a, Miami, you know? I'll say a prayer and we're good. <laughs> and if not, we'll wait a couple minutes and it'll leave. Uh -huh. Then you have, of course, our signature residence, which are our lower penthouses. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be one unit per floor, mm -hmm. and they're between nine to 10,000 square foot. Nine to 10, and prices for roughly? Prices were gonna be in the 20s, in mm -hmm. the lower 20s, which again, I, I, I feel that if you're in that position to buy one of those units, mm -hmm. I would tell you that it's the best buy. There's very little residences that size, and more important, I think Aston's position right now is mm -hmm. we're delivering in the next 12 months. Yeah, so the full, re full floor residence, I mean, you don't have the any The plunge pool on, on the west side is uh -huh. massive. You have a massive plunge pool, summer kitchen. Oh, nice, nice. And then of course, knowing you they have great taste if you really want the special special unit mm -hmm. you would go up to the jewel in the crown which will be the upper penthouse mm -hmm. very modest a little bit under twenty thousand square feet and of course aston being such a special brand mm -hmm. we chose a very special gift for them and i think you can kind of guess what that gift is right i guess it's a pen 
No, it's not a pen. You have to be a little, maybe a pen that like yeah. James Bond, right? We chose the upper penthouse to receive the Aston Martin. Of course, of course I know which one is the yes. I'm sure you're going to do some really cool photos of it. I call it Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. It's really a race car. It's number 18024. It has 820 horsepower. It won the Le Mans race back in 2019 because mm -hmm. we are part of Formula One with mm -hmm. Red Bull. And that'll be the closing gift for that. Nice. The lower penthouses as well, and my 01 flagship, as a closing gift, you have the choice of using, uh, taking a coupe mm -hmm. or, or taking an SUV, but it'll be a limited edition as well. Nice. Okay? Nice. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good gift to have a custom car. It's better than the pen, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I would take a pen too. There you go. <laughs> nice. Let's take a look uh, at the model unit. So tell me, we're here at the 01 line, right? So basically, we mimicked our sales gallery from an 01. Uh -huh. a, a lot of the DNA from the band, and particularly the design language I like to talk about, the brand is very conservative yet modern. Mm -hmm. They wanted very clean lines. They wanted very understated elegance. As you look throughout our sales gallery, you're going to see a lot of wood, mm -hmm. a lot of marble, a lot of steel, and of course, the, the hallmark of the brand is really the leather. Well, well I'm smiling about the leather. First time when I was here, when I sat on that couch, you remember that? I was just touching it because the le leather is so soft. I said, Dennis is kind of like <laughs> impressed with it. And even look at it, I mean, it's, it's about no, four it years old great. Yep. and it still looks great. Exactly. But just to know they use, what, <laughs> they, they use the number one provider of, of leather goods in the world. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you in a world of details, you can look at it and you know you have the 1% of the 1%. Mm -hmm. Nice. All the furniture was designed to the specification of Aston Martin. Our doors, a, a big deal that I have in the world of luxury, and we talked about this, you go into some buildings and the doors don't feel. Mm -hmm. We have solid wood doors mm -hmm. with the solid wood framing and stainless okay, steel no. handles. So it makes a world of Are you going to have the, that leather stitching on the... The front door will have a little the, piece of that yeah. Aston Martin yeah, hand-stitched yeah, leather. logo, it's really detailed. Correct. And I'll give well, you a tip. Right. When we were in the factory in England, uh -huh. you actually went to where they stowed it in uh, actually uh, Scotland. The people that stitch it is almost like their handwriting. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like a special unique piece. Mm -hmm. Every single leather piece will be unique to that door. Oh, it's really cool. No, it's really great project. Detailed. I loved it from the first. And again, I, I, I invite any of your viewers that want to come with you, make an appointment because I think one thing is me speaking about it mm -hmm. and one thing is walking it. Right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Once you see it, you can touch it, you can feel it. Correct. And the unit comes with the of course, the kitchen and the floors as well, right? Correct. To make sure so, that everybody is aware. So we did one of the largest contracts pretty much in modern history. We did 1.4 million square feet of a Greek marble. It's beautiful, it's white, it'll be wall to wall. And the idea is for it to blend mm -hmm. that you basically are just connected constantly to the water view, mm -hmm. which you can see. Here, we're in our magnificent kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, we chose, we looked at a lot of vendors, we ended up choosing Balto. Mm -hmm. Balto created a kitchen custom design for our building to of course maximize space. I love how it looks very clean, mm -hmm. hingeless, yeah. no handles. You have floor to ceiling, uh, cabinetry, which mm -hmm. is great for the space. Mm -hmm. This is great for storage. Countertops. We've all been there that these clients buy these amazing marble pieces, which are very delicate. We went with quartz. Mm -hmm. The quartz looks and feels, and I would say it's superior to marble. Yeah. You spill a little bit of coffee, a little bit of yeah, wine, yeah, it's... it won't stain. Mm -hmm, exactly, it's, I would say. Lighting Better features as well. Lighting features as well. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have like grand lighting, like the floss lighting you see here, recessed lighting throughout. We have high ceilings of 10 feet, mm -hmm. and then our penthouses are gonna be 12 feet. Okay. High. Appliances. We went with a great brand, Gaga which is Gaga now. One thing that I point out is you're, the, the brand is very involved. It's not just the licensing. Mm -hmm. and, and you're aware because you've been to our events. Everything is very cohesive and consistent. All of our appliances will be Gaga now. Mm -hmm. The wine coolers, the microwave, the ovens, the refrigerator. So there's a certain consistency that's going to be throughout the uh, entire mm -hmm. building, which I personally like a lot. I like that matte finish. It, it's, I, I love the matte. It's also been... Um, protected against solar. Mm -hmm. Now, as a kid that watched a lot of uh, MTV Cribs, uh -huh. I, 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 I live my fantasy by opening mm -hmm. the refrigerator, but it's a good way to showcase the fitted finish. Stainless mm -hmm. steel, the glass, microwave and oven. Mm -hmm. Everything's gagging now. And again, there's so many restaurants within walking distance. 
I'm yeah. sure that your cooking is going to be the minimum. With the Novikov, Zuma, Cipriani right there. I'm, I'm want to go to the new, we have the new sexy fish that just opened up. Yeah, yeah, up. they just opened up. Uh -huh. We had a client here that's telling me that 30, uh, 30 French is coming to what used to be more than hmm, two brickles. Yes. The one, 30 French is the guys from New York, right? Correct. Uh, and he's telling me there's, there's another one coming next door called Mastro's, which is really good. It's like a steakhouse from the West Coast. So it's, it's the circle. <laughs> it's the circle, it. you yeah. know? So now we're here in the bathroom. So here we're in the bathroom. This really gives you a feel of what it is to be inside the residence. A big selling point that I like to talk about again, is that constant connection mm. to the water. I think you think of Miami and water comes to you. Another point that a lot of buyers don't realize is we have a very uh, busy and alive river. Mm -hmm. So you're, on the weekends, you'll see a lot of boats, you'll see manatees, you'll see yeah. dolphins. So it's a really unique uh, feel. But again, here, for example, standard finish throughout, you're gonna have the mirror with the light feature throughout. That's a standard finish mm -hmm. in all the residences. Again, all the hardware is gonna be hands growing. It's the line done by Philippe Stark called Oxor. Mm -hmm. Again, vault of cabinetry. Mm -hmm. In the residences, a lot of the glass will be frosted, but every single residence from our entry to yeah. our upper penthouse will be finished the same. Nice. Are uh, you gonna provide any like, I don't know, uh, extra I don't know, furniture packages or something like that if somebody wants to? So, so Aston's kind of like Apple. Mm -hmm. They're very small. Keep in mind in the 100 years, they've only made 75,000 cars. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of talk that they have a division for the furniture. So they've talked about a certain line. They haven't shown it to us yet. Mm. But the idea is that once we open the building, yeah. we'll have certain custom packages that the buyers can do to finish out the residences. That's good. It's good for especially buyers who's out of town, out Correct. of country, for example, if they want to get something, then they have to spend time on it. Perfect. So uh, I guess that's more than enough. Let's go and take a look at the building. Perfect. Let's okay. go. Okay. So that's the one that you mentioned, right? So this pen. is <laughs> so this is the pen. Yeah, Top of the line that's pen. what I call pen. <laughs> so this is the Aston Martin Vulcan. Uh -huh. It was created in 2013 to celebrate the 100 years. They made only 24 of them. It's all made by hand. 2,100 man hours to create. And I talk a lot about the car because they saved one for something really special. Mm -hmm. So what better occasion when you do your first and only building? to give this to the buyer of the upper penthouse. I'm a big car guy, so I'll give you the specifics. Mm -hmm. It has please, a 7.0 the... V12. It okay. starts off at 525 horsepower. You can raise it up to 820. No turbos, loud, powerful. You look here on the side, mm -hmm. the spoilers wrap the car, keep it as close to the ground. So when you pick up speed, it doesn't pick up. You have a mm. 175 pound wing mm -hmm. that'll keep it glued. It's 125 pounds, yeah. wow. Because so, if not, when the car's going super fast, uh -huh. it'll basically just lift itself up. Whoa. Another really unique thing about the car, the car, the majority of it is carbon fiber. Uh -huh. And I think the brand did an amazing job in incorporating the world of sports into the world of luxury. Why? It's, it's all uh, molded by one solid piece. Mm -hmm. It's very lightweight, but it's also durable. It can withstand fire. It's usually used a lot in the world of sports. Mm -hmm. The car weighs about the same weight as a Mini Cooper, really? close to 3,000 pounds, and it has four times the power. Did you drive it? No? I haven't. I got to tell you that that's one thing that I'll add in my contract next time. So really? I want to show you on the inside. If I sell a penthouse, I'll put it on my contract Listen, as well with the car. It would be my pleasure. <laughs> so I want you to open the door so you can feel how light lightweight the car is. Oh, yeah. So ah, yeah. Recaro steering, seating, you're going to have the special Formula One style uh -huh. steering wheel. Again, uh, if, if you Google the car and see it online, I'd say it's beating the beast because it looks so beautiful while it's here. Yeah, it is. But it just becomes like a fire-breathing monster once you turn on that engine. Did you hear a sound of it when they Not turn here. it up? So as per contract, we oh. have to have it without battery and without ah, gas in the okay, tank. Okay, okay. I mean, here you can see some of the little handlers. Well, uh, otherwise, while well, guys will, will Correct. drive. Correct. <laughs> yeah. they'll, they'll have to take a couple laps around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how they, how they are. <laughs> no, I might just have to normal. take it for a lunch for like a VIP <laughs> client. I can go pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> Top of 
top of the world, huh? Wow, what, what, what is, what's in here? This will be the ballroom. Wow. So this is gonna be your amazing ballroom. Can I step in there? Yeah, just don't get too close to the edge. Wow. But you can see everything from here, huh? Yep. Wow. That's impressive. Yep, all port of Miami, the beach, Fisher Island. Wow. It's just unbelievable. And how high it is in the feet? In feet, we're about, I would say roughly about 700 feet. 700, wow. So all the buildings, those like 30, 40 stories buildings, they yeah. way below, way below. One thing are the renderings and one thing is to be up here is what I tell everybody. It uh -huh. truly changes like dramatically. And what I like about it even more, once it becomes night, uh -huh. the water gets black and the entire yeah, yeah. city lights up. Even better. Well, the thing is, you're gonna see the sunrise and the sunset views from here. Correct. And also what I like personally, that was a Miami thing, uh -huh. right here between the port of Miami and the other bridge, uh -huh. you'll see the cruise ships turn around. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Besides, yeah. once the net comes down, uh -huh. You can see through that little hole right there, you can actually see all the way up to Fort Lauderdale. Mm, wow. And if you follow me over here to the pool deck, you Let's have even go. a much nicer view. So imagine this as a huge ballroom. You're gonna have uh -huh. your private kitchen for your butler, for your events, and you're gonna have probably one of the most- With a kitchen here as well, right? Correct. So this will be your own private space for like events, for wedding uh -huh. or mitzvahs, which I think is an amazing amenity to have. And if you look here to your left, you can see over Brickle. Mm -hmm. You can see Key Biscayne. What is it, mail? That's for the <laughs> like, concrete. You know, like checks in the bank. For the deposit, deposit, deposit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sales going. You, you know, know what the funny thing is? In this day and age, you don't even think of that. <laughs> yeah. Us, we remember you would go and you would put it and you would push the button. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I did it a couple of times. Now it's like to, an email. Your money was sent. Just to see how it works, you know. <laughs> you know, I'm so happy when I sell in the buildings like this, because the thing is, I'm gonna visit my clients often. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> really, I cannot wait till you guys finish. No, imagine for me, I've been selling the area for like 17 years. Uh -huh. So to get up here and finally see it was like, <laughs> funny story is when people would have buy back in the 90s, uh -huh. people would buy this way, which would be west. Oh, you really? can actually see Key uh, Cora Gables. Uh -huh. That was a desirable view. Uh -huh. wow. And then now that you think about it in 2021, you're like, why wouldn't they buy facing exactly. the water? <laughs> wow. But if you look over here, see that's Hard Rock Stadium. Uh -huh. It's a little hazy, yep. but straight yeah, down where my hand crazy. is, you can see the Hard Rock Casino. Yeah, everything is So up. imagine this, you're gonna have amazing cabanas with your private plunge pools. You have this amazing oh, sunken in all, pool. All buildings below that level. Wow. Correct. No, no, it, it's something that normal developers wouldn't do. You would simply Guys, make this amenities. someone needs to buy penthouse right there. Those are the views. <laughs> well, they can be wow. uh, Dennis's neighbor up there, no? Look at those. How much you said it's 20, right? About that? They're starting right in now? the 20s, mm -hmm. but they're about 9,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. And the views. <laughs> no, the views are the views out of this world. I mean, uh, I've seen many, many feet. views in my lifetime, and this definitely is the best view in the city. Yeah. Wow. Can we walk there a little bit? Oh, no, it's close, right? Uh, we can walk a little bit closer, but as long as I'll let you know up okay. to where we can walk. Okay. So a good point that I like to talk about our commitment to construction. Uh -huh. If you notice our pool deck, instead of just being pure concrete, we did a stainless steel yeah, liner. Yeah, I can feel it. Uh -huh. And this will guarantee that it's gonna have a much longer life to protect the integrity of the building. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the views are truly amazing. Yeah. And then if you're up here at that golden hour that the sun starts to go down, mm -hmm. you get the purples, the pinks, and the sun will set on the west. Mm -hmm. So you're always gonna have a good time with the sun, as you can see. Yeah. Cause that's a problem here. A lot of the buildings have amazing pools, but there's no sunlight. Uh-huh. Wow. This is so Miami. <laughs> Anthony, and on this part, side is like cabanas. So to your right, you're gonna have six cabanas with their own private plunge pool. And uh -huh. you're gonna have a bunch of greenage by our jacuzzi out in the west. And here's a, like a bar service, restaurant. There's gonna be a sky right? bar and lounge off the pool deck that's uh -huh. gonna service you. Uh -huh. And then you can have all these amazing... Drinks, food as well? Or Correct. Just drink, food as well. Have food as well. And it, very, it was very important to keep it very private. Mm -hmm. So this will be the most desirable place to be, but only for residents. Mm -hmm. So since you have a few friends, they can invite you over now. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I need someone to get the penthouse. Oh. The, 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 I know what, a few people that's that's what I like. that way. <laughs> no, but they, those yes. penthouses are truly magnificent. I think that that is the best value you can buy. If you look at our city 20 years ago when people bought south of Fifth, they yeah, never thought exactly. the city would be where it is. I would definitely think 
or I know that is the best. And the thing with the, what's happening right now in Miami, like St. Regis, they're building, they started in 2004. Correct. They just started and it's now. What's going to happen within like five, 10 years? So the easiest way I explain value to buyers is, and again, I've lived it long enough, the cost of land really predicts the price mm -hmm. of, the, of the properties. And if you look at our city, there's no more empty lots. And whatever yeah. there is, is west, is more inland. Mm -hmm. So anything on the water, if this sold for 125 million, let's say six, seven years ago, imagine what it's worth today. Mm -hmm. We're looking at similar lots inland for about 100 million. Mm -hmm. So if you use the same numbers, let's say you give it a 40% premium, yep. you're looking at almost having to sell this building if we built it and sold it today for about double the price. Mm -hmm. And we saw that at the beach. I remember when we launched Murano. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, I was a kid. They were selling it for like $400 a square foot and we thought it was outrageous. Wow. And now you're lucky we can find anything, what, like 3,000, 4,000 a square foot. Wow. And the other yeah. quantum change we've seen is that people that are coming to the city are coming here to live. Uh -huh. So they want to be in the epicenter at all, which is downtown Miami. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. It's unbelievable, unbelievable you. No, seriously, uh, you've seen a lot of views here in Miami, but when you see something like first time, like that, it's like you never seen anything here before. Anthony, there is, like I've been telling a lot, in Miami there is so many different views and there is always something to be impressed. I agree. That's what I like about the city, seriously. I think, listen, I think that being where we're at, since we do have water, we have boats, we get a little bit of everything. You get the city, you get the green. So you truly have a view of everything. Mm -hmm. Because I tell everybody, yeah, we are a city that's known for beach, but we also yeah. have an identity for being a city. Here so you here you literally get 360 <laughs> degree views. And I think we have the very best views to offer in the city. And mind you, today's a hazy day. Imagine on a crystal clear day, you will, will see everything. Thank you very much. I Thank you for right. So now we're gonna go through the, the gut of the building. Uh -huh. Obviously, it's not the nicest way, but she'll take us to 401, which is kind of like a model unit. Okay. What line is that you said? It's gonna be an 01. 01. And this one? What is this that? is gonna be a. It's a two bedroom, right? I would say is a 03 model. Uh huh. So, so welcome home to Aston Martin Residences. We're standing at our model unit uh, in the uh, River Residences. This would be an 01 model. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be between three to four bedrooms at this level. Mm -hmm. It's about 3,500 to 3,700 square feet mm -hmm. or 370 square meters. Personally, what I love about this unit is this amazing hallway as you come in. I'm being yep. a bigger guy, it's nice and wide. As you can mm -hmm. see, it's more than adequate for me to open up my arms. It's magnificent because if you want to do artwork, especially mm -hmm. in the days that yep. artwork is so important, you can put you can a lot put of your a couple of NFTs in here. Exactly. See, Dennis and always knows. Also, what's good that you face in water right away once you come in. Correct. So follow me through here. Let me walk it's, you into the ensuite. It's a good thing to impress yourself and your guests so, as well. One thing that I'm a big stickler on is the doors. We have mm -hmm. beautiful wood doors, mm -hmm. solid wood, made in Italy. They have magnet closing. Bert so a lot. If you slam it as hard as you want, it will still be soft closed. Mm -hmm. You walk into the master, mm -hmm. which is great. Big open spaces, it's beautiful white. white marble floors. It's a great place is here you can put your bed and you wake up to this beautiful, you know, masterpiece every morning. You notice there's a light oh, you tint. You have a railing on the, Correct. On the balcony. So. Correct. You also have porcelain on the, on the, the exterior. Mm -hmm. So if you just want to go out to your balcony and even at these low levels, I think there's a certain... You know, it's really good to see yeah, different but, uh, materials, different brands from what I've seen usually. The developers like glass, wanted to... Doors, this, panels. There you go. It's not what the Miami people used to. Correct. And, and that comes a lot with the brand. The brand mm -hmm. wanted to bring more of a European flair mm -hmm. and a little bit different brands, which we know exist. Mm -hmm. But again, I love how connected you are to the water here. Mm -hmm. You can get a glimpse of our future marina, mm -hmm. which is an amazing amenity to have. And I think it's really like the insurance policy of our, of our, of our site. Because mm -hmm. 
everyone in Miami wants to have access to the water. Get that bird right there, cool, no? Now behind here, you're gonna have a double closet. Those huge doors is so easy to slide. Because they actually lift out of the railing. Oh, so it's okay. a special system that the partners wanted that it would lift okay, one. Okay, it's a little easy because some of the buildings you have to Correct. with it two hands Correct. to pull it. <laughs> and remember, since we do have the gold standard of construction, yeah. they're double paint, so they're very thick, so acoustically you won't mm -hmm. hear it, so they're heavy. But by lifting it and rolling, it makes it very easy. Double closets here. Here you have his and hers ensuite. Beautiful mirror with the lighting fixture, a bidet, toilet, again with the water closet in, the, in there. Here you have Bless you, a shower. Steam shower. Hmm. A signature piece of Aston is really the beautiful tub in the wet room. And it has that beautiful all glass design that you can see outside. Mm -hmm. Which I think is truly an experience. And that's really what luxury is about. It's a state of comfort. It's a mm -hmm. state of being treated and just... Imagine we all live such busy lifestyles with all the stuff that we're always connected. You have a busy day, you hop in your tub and life is grand. Yeah. Years ago, I laughed because I had a friend that I worked with and, and I said, I'm so stressed, I have so much going on. She goes, I want to put myself to measure it, like, but it's a little dusty. No, 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 you'll get dirty. <laughs> and I remember my friends like, just fill up the tub, yeah. put on some candles and enjoy it for a couple of minutes. And I said, really? Yeah. The best thing you could do. A lot of warm sure. water. It, it, that's what I do sometimes. I said, I felt like a manatee, but you know, it's a different story, but it, it just releases your stress. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's good to have. You put some candles, glass of wine. Epsom salt makes a world of a difference. Mm -hmm. Yep. So again, very well finished, you know, hands growing hardware, you know, bolt up mm -hmm. cabinetry, Oxar is the line that we chose was done by Philippe Starr. Mm -hmm. But again, I like how it's very elegant, but the white is very inoffensive. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now we can go out through here. Okay. And we go back up. No, let's close Lock. here. Oh, okay. They open inward. Mm -hmm. And we're back into the master. Oh, and here was the um, closet, right? Correct. Oh, that would be the, so the two closets. Convenient right behind it, right? Right behind the bath. Correct. It's very good use, very good space. I like it. Yep. I like the size of it. Correct. This would be the secondary bedroom and ensuite. And again, we really, really want to show them, yeah, because we wanted to put furniture. Mm -hmm. Because when you do have a white, it could also look. But again, I think it really gives our buyer a feel mm -hmm. of the fit and finish. And again, you've been with us since day one. You probably sold units before you even saw rendering. So uh, it, it, I'm sure you're happy to see what it looks like mm. a finished product. I am. Now you come over here, powder room, an amazing laundry room that you can actually use as storage. Mm -hmm. You have an amazing kitchen, very well designed, that lives up to what we offered in the sales mm -hmm. gallery. Now, keep in mind the building's design as, as the building goes up. Mm -hmm. This will be wider. It'll be wider. Uh -huh. And here you will see some more columns, but as you go up, they start to disappear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, as we step over here, this is the rooftop of our, of our beautiful sales gallery, which I'm very sad to say mm -hmm. will be demolished very okay. soon. So this will all be an open view. You step out to your balcony, and you get the best of both. You have urban living to your side, but you mm. still have this amazing water that you can appreciate. This amazing balcony wraps all the way around. Mm -hmm. You come in through here, uh -huh. parking garage to your right, uh -huh. turn around. Over there, you're gonna have two big double doors that go in the east, mm -hmm. and over here, you're gonna have two big double doors to your uh -huh. west lobby. We work very hard to keep all this open, so all that junk and construction will be open all the way out. Uh -huh. So as soon as you come in, you'll see the water. Okay? Yep. A big point that people talk about traffic once we're done, obviously all three lanes will open up and you'll see a mm -hmm. monster difference in traffic. So you see? This is our east lobby. Once this is demolished, we're gonna have a bigger space. Mm -hmm. And this will be like a beautiful open space there. Are they gonna put like a park or something? No, like we're just gonna do like a reflective pool. Thank you, mi amor, I appreciate uh -huh. your help. 
you're gonna have like a reflective pool and it'll create like a private barrier between the river walk and of course the building. Uh -huh. But this will be an open space. Remember the coding for the cities to have it open. Guys, I hope you like the tour from Anthony. Anthony, it's really good to see you. The pleasure Thank you very mine. much for your time and hopefully soon I'll come back with a client for Penthouse. So just to let you know real quick, um, it's always a pleasure to have you here. Yeah. Dennis and his team is amazing. If you have the privilege of working with him, reach out. We're in a very, very special time. The building has been so anticipated. Its timing has been perfect. If you want to be in the super luxury building that's going to be ready in the next 12 months, mm -hmm. this is your place to be, okay? Great. So looking forward to helping you and your Thanks, clients, again. all right? Take care. All right, take care.